traders, I'm Kayong from FX Pitsology and thank you for watching this video. I've always been blogging about the market analysis and thought it would be great to have a video analysis itself. So today, I'll be sharing with you some potential setups, um, my personal trade review, as well as sharing with you how to identify two harmonic patterns, mainly the bad pattern and the godly pattern. Right, so thank you once again for watching this video and welcome. So just to start off, I would like to share with you my trade review. So on the 26th of October, I actually analyzed this pair, the Canadian chef, franc, Swiss franc, sorry. Under the H4 time frame, we have a potential bad pattern forming on that date. So I actually um, set my entry around the 0 0.8545 level and I was triggered as the market moved up, right? And you can see that price actually hits higher all the way up to the previous resistance zone, which is the 8575 area, before coming down to hit our profit target level 1 and level 2. So this was actually a great call for this trade itself. Another trade that I would like to share with you is the Euro Aussie itself. So this um, is also on the H4 time frame. You can see that um, this is actually a potential cipher setup. Um, with the so-called interested zone that we are looking at that time is actually around the 1.46 um, even handle right so we can see that market actually reached um, close to the 4.6 area right you can see that previously there's also this resistance line around the 1.456 which um, price didn't manage to close above it and then it rolled all the way back um, down um, and managed to actually hit our profit target one as well so um, in terms of trade management, what we do is actually when profit target one is hit, we'll shift our stop loss to break even and write for an extended target at profit target two. Right, so these are the two um, trades that I would like to share with you for the trade review this week. Moving on, um, share with you some potential market setup. Right, so the first pair that we'll be looking for um, this this coming week um because this is a 30 minute chart so um you can see it as an intraday trade setup itself um it's actually the aussie yen um you can see this potential bad pattern right so um we're actually interested in this zone itself the 99.5 right around this area we are looking for some shorting opportunities um should price actually comes to this level right so the next pair that we are looking for or looking at is actually the New Zealand cat pair. This is actually a potential Gartley pattern itself. Um, we are actually interested in this area, right? The between the one two seven point two and the seventy eight point six level, um, which we'll be looking for shorting opportunities up here as well, right? So because this is a H four time frame, so um, I'm expecting this pair to actually um, this potential trade to actually play out um either early next week or even you know the following week yeah so the next one that we will be looking at is actually the New Zealand yen something very similar to the Aussie yen itself um, but this itself um, the Aussie yen is a bad pattern this one is actually a godly pattern so if I zoom in so we can see it clearer we're actually looking at this zone um, similar godly 127.2 and 78.6 so if price actually reach um, this area, we'll be looking for some shorting opportunities as well. right? So um, just to share with you how I actually identify the bad pattern on the Aussie Yen and the Gartley pattern on New Zealand Yen, um, I'll actually remove this and we'll go through step by step um, how I actually identify the pattern itself. Right. So um, in terms of identification of harmonic pattern, the first thing that we want to do is actually identify an impulse leg. Right? Impulse leg is basically defined as the upward or downward strong movement. Right? So um, since we are looking at a smaller time frame, which is a 30 minute chart, we can basically you know, um, omit this part, you know, this, this huge upward movement in the past. Right? So since price has been ranging around here, and then we can actually kind of identify that this is actually a pretty strong downward movement. So once we actually identify this impulse leg, the next thing we want to do is actually to insert our Fibonacci tool, you know, to spot for potential patterns. So for the bad pattern, 
the first criteria that we want to meet is actually um, this level, the 38.2 to 50% retracement level. So price would have to retrace um, up to the 38.2 and not beyond the 50, right? So um, identify is actually this zone itself. So you can see price actually came back up and hit our first criteria. So the second criteria, what we want is um, price after hitting this zone, this first criteria zone, we have to retrace um, back, you know, at least 38.2 to not, uh, sorry, but not exceeding the 88.6. So if I draw it in, it'll be somewhere here, yep, this zone. So you can see that our second criteria has been met as well. Right, so once we have our impulse leg, um, our first criteria and second criteria met, we can start drawing in our triangles, right? Um, so this will be our first part of the triangle and the second part, right? So the second part um, for a bad pattern, the completion area we are looking at is actually the 88.6, which is right here, right? So that's how we actually um, identify a bad pattern. I right, hope this helps to clarify some inquiries or doubts you know, on how to actually identify or draw a bad pattern itself. Right, so um, I'm going to go through the Gartley pattern as well. So I'll be removing um, my triangles and all the fit tools. Okay, so as usual, um, the first thing that we want to identify is actually the impulse leg. So we can see that the yen pairs actually has a very huge upward movement. And since we are looking at a smaller time frame, the 30 minute chart, we can actually uh, ignore the front part, right? So we only zoom in into this ranging area. Right. So the first thing is to identify impulse leg. We can actually see that this is actually a pretty strong downward movement and then price range in between. So we can say that safely say that this is actually an impulse leg right so zooming in we want to insert in our fibonacci 2. so the first thing that we want to identify for a godly pattern is a retracement of at least 61.8 but not exceeding the 78.6 right so to draw in the rectangles for clearer right so this is actually the zone for our first criteria, then um, we can see that price actually hits it. For the second one, the second criteria is actually uh, similar to the bad pattern, right? So it has to retrace back at least the 38.2, but not exceeding 88.6, right? So you see price actually came back down to meet our second criteria. Once we have the impulse leak identified, first criteria met, second criteria met, we'll be looking into drawing our triangles, right? So we have first triangle here identified, and the second one for a godly pattern completion, we'll be looking at the level of 78.6. So um, for godly itself, what I like to do is actually to add in a Fibonacci extension tool for confluence zone. Right, so you see how I drew it. Um, I'll be interested to look at 127.2 and 78.6. So that's the zone uh, which is initially see where I drew my rectangle itself. Right, so this is a zone itself that um, I'll, I'll call it the confluence zone um, between the extension Fibonacci and the retracement Fibonacci. So as long as price comes up to this area, I'll be interested to actually look for a short opportunity. Right, so um, I hope that these two examples will help clarify you know, the, the, the difference between the bad and the godly pattern and how I actually identify it on the chart itself. And since this is the first video, um, after some time, um, after a few of you actually encouraged me to do a video, I actually did it. So I would really appreciate if you can drop me a comment or two or even suggestions on how I can improve on my video analysis. To fulfill and meet, um, you know, to help you as traders to analyze the market and share some of my insights as well. So, um, 
other than that, um, we'll be having NFP later, very soon actually. So do take extra caution if you are trading the market today. Other than that, um, wish you having a happy weekend and I'll chat with you soon.